Finally, we get to make our way to Jerbog. Let's go! Good morning. Well, you join me at daft o'clock in the morning, just as the sun's starting to rise over Jerbog. That's where we're heading. Second set of steps. Now we're making our way down to the bay that I can't pronounce. That's it. And the beach here is only accessible by a ladder. Let's check it out. Well, I don't think I'll be going down there this morning. Guess who didn't check the tides? Well, let's get out of here before I get swept off. Now I'm climbing the stairway to heaven. Oh, what's this? Well, I've just found this ah! electric fence. I just found a book. Where's my teddy? There's a little note inside. There's a message from Book Hunt Guernsey. Careful how you say that. Hello, congratulations, you've found a Book Hunt Guernsey book, which has been left by someone for you to enjoy. You can choose to take it away to read, pass it on to someone else to enjoy, or leave it for someone else to find. Keep it for as long as you please. When you're finished with it, please remember to sign and date on the sheet inside the cover and rehide it for someone else to find. Feel free to share photos, clues on where to find the book. You have hidden or tell others about your book finds on our Facebook group page, Book Hunt Guernsey. There you go. I think I'll leave that for somebody else. Where's my teddy is a bit too intellectual for me. What could you ask for? Sunrise? Water, media. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. see some German fortifications again. Secret bunker time. Oh. 
think these are prison cells? Or... Hmm? I'm sorry for the drunken snog. What's the date on the paper? October the 8th, 2018. Oh, been there. Why, isn't it? Uh, two years old, that paper. Lethal <laughs> injection. Oh, that was mine. Oh, a bit bigger. Things maybe the German Nazis were sleeping, the officers, on this bed. Ooh, that is creepy. Well, if you like creepy underground bunkers, I've been invited onto a tour of a German battery which is very rarely open to the public so keep your eyes out, hit that subscribe button put the notification bell on and you'll get to see quite a well kept underground bunker with about a kilometre of underground tunnels to explore so that'll be interesting, stay tuned It's the Saints Bay Battery, right? From Napoleonic times. No iron door! Memory of Charles Lefebvre, Seigneur de Blancheland, 1854 to 1867. He was only 13. And he's got a monument in the shape of a penis. Are they tunnels I spy before me? No. A swimming pool, filled up by the sea. It's not really, but there are some bathing pools that are closer to St. Peterport. Just in case you're wondering why I didn't do this hilly section first and get it out of the way, I really needed to lose some weight before I attempted this section, because otherwise it would have killed me. <laughs> and I have gone down three belt holes since I started. The weight's falling off me.
There's a little bit of art history for you. This is where Renoir stood when he painted it. Look, Mum, I'm in the Renoir painting. <laughs> Here's another one. Yeah, there's that little, that little rock there. And that over there is the pea stacks. Well, I set off from Petit Bow. It's exactly seven o'clock this morning, and it's just turned ten o'clock. So three hours that's taken me this far, and we're on our way now past Petit Port. Final leg down to Jerborg. See the jackets come off. Not a bad day for the 17th of December. Let's try the spring water then. Mm, chilled. You could do a trotter and bottle that. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm almost at the flight restriction zone for the airport. Which means I can fly down this coast. Towards the peace stacks. The trouble is, it's a bit windy for the Mini. I can just see Doyle Column in the distance. There's some aerial footage of Doyle Column I managed to get a couple of weeks ago. Enjoy. There's a photograph from down there, taken nine years ago. I don't think I'd have the strength to climb back up. Long way, mate. What a view. Whatever you do, don't miss a turn off for the cliff path, like I've just done. <laughs> the sign's not very clear. I think I've got an old photo of me somewhere down here on these steps. Can I just pick up on that? These cliffs were given to the island of Guernsey by his two sons, 1999. Oh, I'm a bit pissed off Guernsey hasn't got any cliffs. I've got some for you. Why don't you just stick them on the end? Cheers, mate. On to the final stretch now. It's just gone 11, been walking for four hours. And Gerbog Point is right around this corner. Oh, this one's very clean. Heinrich, I see that. Get the ammunition. 
Get to the chop! <laughs> <laughs> There's another one there. And Jerbo Point. There's the world's crappiest lighthouse. Now, this stunning duplex apartment with the sea views is available on the market for £2.4 million. Pounds. Oh. Comes complete with a granddad flat. So Grandma Bar and Grandpa Park can have their own private space. One of the major benefits of this property is not having to pay for window cleaners. So if you'd like to come through to the lounge diner, it's incredibly airy. Access to the basement. Uh, as, you, as you can see, somebody has already left their uh, their bedding here. So this is obviously the bedroom. Again, no windows to have to worry about to clean. U-shaped seating amenity. Now, as we make our way through to the bedroom area, it's easy to get a, a double. For a queen size in here. And again, I love this sun lounge area with panoramic views all the way over to her. The previous occupant is selling due to unforeseen circumstances. As you can tell, wheelchair accessibility isn't great. <laughs> Final push. Last lot of steps. That's a donkey. Worst ever track impression. And there she is. The airboy point to Telegraph Bay. Fantastic view of the island of Herm and Sam. And now I'm going to leave you with some beautiful aerial footage that I took a couple of weeks ago at Jerbog. And I'll see you on the next one, an ultimate episode of Jerbog into St. Peter Park.